Welcome to the launching of the Mindanao Think Tank publication. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for, for coming here today. Uh, these individuals of the Mindanao Think Tank have um, really uh, been doing incredible work going out into communities, uh, going into rather uh, difficult environments, uh, going into conflict-afflicted uh, areas to ask people about their views uh, on the peace process, to inform them about the peace process with the hope that this might somehow give them a greater degree of ownership of the peace process, somehow help ensure that their views are are reflected uh, in, in the peace process and I think most importantly to um, really get uh, the ball rolling in ensuring that the communities themselves, the ones who are often uh, left out uh, in the peace process, are, are, are more uh, in, engaged in this peace process in, in, in some way and somehow. And I hope that these publications go some way to doing that. But the, the whole issue of trying to include stakeholders is a challenge not just for the Philippines as we know, it's a challenge for every peace process around the world. Uh, the question is, and the challenge is always finding out when, when's the right time, how to do it, who are the right people, um, how to get that, that formula correct. So you never know who's going to pop up in any consultation process, and you never know when they're suddenly going to pop up. And it's not that you just need to consult with everybody all the time, but you certainly need to keep your ear to the ground, have your finger to the pulse of the, of the, of the, of the population. And what we hope to do with these publications is to uh, begin a, a discourse, an, an engagement, a discussion, uh, how we can get this right here, how we can minimize what uh, some of the problems that happened before. Thank you. The Mindanao Think Tank was developed in 2009 to respond to the need for greater consultations with stakeholders on the peace process. This need became most relevant in the aftermath of the failure in the signing on August 2008 of the Memorandum of Agreement on Ancestral Domain, or MOA AD. Formally, the, the Mindanao Think Tank was established in August 2009 by key members and leaders of civil society, regional and local government, the academe, and the different sectors who were invited by the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, or CHD, to come together to discuss ways in which to support the Mindanao Peace Process through stakeholders' dialogue. The recommendations are contained in the publications which are being launched today. We urge everyone to have a serious look at the contents of these publications, we assure you that the peace or the process undertaken in the whole MTT initiative was truly rigorous and consultative. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Now to give us uh, another very important message, may I have the honor to request our very own partner from the CSOs, and now welcome back again as the Secretary of the Peace Process, Secretary Teresita, otherwise known as Mom Dean Gales. I am uh, happy to be here, and I know everyone always wants to hear, so what's up with the peace process? So let me maybe just start off by sharing uh, some of these developments with regards to the GRPM ILF peace process. Uh, we are ready, the panel is ready, as announced by the President during the SONA. The panel would be ready to resume negotiations after Ramadan and they are ready. This panel is prepared knowing we are now at the heart of the negotiations. There are no more preliminaries to talk about. We are at the heart of the negotiations in terms of um, the political settlement and that this panel, as all our other panels, addressing partners on different peace tables, this panel will not sign an agreement that we will be not, not be ready to implement. This government believes that peace is not just won and the negotiating table, it has to be felt on the ground. We cannot, that 
we have to close the gap between what happens on the table and what happens on the ground. So at a time like this, it is good to have think tanks. It is good to have initiatives like this because there is plenty to think about. As I said, we are serious here in winning the peace and there is so much to think about. There is so much to consult about. There are many things to think about. There are many challenges to a think tank. There are many challenges to consultations. We have to say that. Let's not just do what others have already been doing. Let us not just bring the words that have already been written up and published by others because there are so many new voices that need to be brought out. There are so many new issues that have to be thought about. If we are serious, that this time we will get to the end of a political settlement. In that light, I want to congratulate and thank the Mindanao Think Tank for having started on this process. I see how much difficult, how much work has been done. And I recommend it. We will seriously read. And I will tell the president, hey, sir, they have some messages for you. The think tank wants to engage the panel. Please, the door, the door should be open. If it is not, you let me know. So we will give the proper. <laughs> we will give the. We will be the bridge. This government, as the president says, does not want to end its term, leaving still a legacy of armed conflict anywhere in this country, and we are preparing to do our part. And we hope you help spread that message. It is sincerely felt. It is rigorously being worked on. For this, I left a comfortable semi-retired life. And, um, but it's not about me. This is about, um, this is about the country and how we all need really to hold hands together and bring this to the country that we, and especially our children, and our children's children deserve. Maraming salamat po.